Hello everyone, happy Sunday. Welcome to this month's episode, edition, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we want to call it, of Cozy Crafty Sunday. If you are new to my channel, this is uh, a series that I do once a month on my channel where we will do new crafts or old crafts or try something new or do something I've done before <laughs> um, in a video on Sunday. So today, we're going to be making clay bead bracelets. This is something that I started doing maybe September, maybe like August, September of 2023. It's something that I very much enjoy doing and um, I wanted to make some summery beachy bracelets. So I figured that could be this month's uh, episode of Cozy Crafty Sunday. Now, I have a beadsmith mat here. I will leave links to all of these things on Amazon. That's where I got all of my supplies. Um, I have a beadsmith mat here that has a ruler so I can measure our uh, elastic. I have a pair of craft scissors. I have some cutters. I also have a beading hook. I don't always use these but I feel like it might help us with speed a little bit in today's episode. I don't want to be here forever. No offense to you guys. I also have a bead board. Now this doesn't work as well with clay beads. This is very good for like standard round beads uh, so you can make sure that you're getting the right size. Um, we'll see if I use this but this was very affordable on Amazon as well. I will link that I have a couple of different kinds of elastic. So I have a clear one and this one's also clear. It's just a little bit of a different, um, I don't want to say fabric. It's just a different texture, I guess. And then I have a bunch of colored elastic that I never use. So I pulled two because it matched with a couple of the bracelets. So we might uh, test out some of the colored elastic. And then I have gone ahead and picked all of my beads for bracelets. So the first one here, this is a three pack of ceramic paint palettes, like mixing palettes. Um, I saw somebody, I cannot remember who it was. I saw somebody that I follow on Instagram use like a really big one of these. And I was like, well, I don't need one that's massive. And I found this three pack and they're perfect. So I'm hoping to make two bracelets out of this assortment. We're going to do one with the seashell and then one that's just like coordinating with these colors. Um, I don't know that we'll do all of these on camera. I might do a couple and then um, just do the like the rest of the matching set. Maybe I'll do off camera. Who knows? We'll see how long it takes. So this is our first one. Next we have two different bracelet themes here. So ignore these three. <laughs> so I'm going to do the little seashell with a couple of pearls and then I have some white, um, this like speckled bead that's white and blue. And then I have a matching blue. And then we have a sea turtle. So I have it, this one here will be like the middle. And then I have a blue, a really pretty yellow and white again. And then I have another sea turtle in this coral color. And I just thought that these colors were really cool together. Um, I might try to do a set of two again, like I mentioned with the first palette, uh, but we'll see. So that's the plan bead wise. I think I'm going to start with, maybe we'll start with this one. Um, and if for whatever reason I don't make all of these on camera with you guys, I can, I'll probably put in some pictures or something um, so that you guys can see everything. Now for this palette, I want to try using the colored elastic. So we're trying something new. We'll see how it goes. Oops. And of course, we're already tangled here. That's okay. I can deal. Uh, so I, this is going to sound very wasteful. Elastic for bracelet making is pretty cheap. You can get a multi-pack multi -pack for a pretty good deal. So I do cut myself extra. Um, 
obviously you don't have to, <laughs> but it's just easier for me. Uh, I'm not the best at measuring, so I would rather have too much elastic than not enough. So this is way too much. This is like, uh, let's see, that's 12. Yeah, this is way too much. <laughs> I think I was a little excessive with this one. Uh, yeah, we're like at 20 something inches. So too big, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to start with the sea turtle one. And um, I did kind of like sketch out a type of pattern that I want to do. So obviously my little sea turtle is going to be in the middle. And then I think I want to go white. I kind of want to do the blue like last, not last, but in the pattern. Maybe I'll double up on yellow, double up on blue. I just kind of want to get a feel for the pattern that I want and then we can kind of, oops, that's a yucky bead. All of my clay beads are from Amazon. Let me pull you guys in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Let's try to get everything centered. I'm so bad at having everything centered on my videos. Um, blue. I feel like this color palette, it just kind of works. I know it's kind of kooky, but you're going to see a lot of yellows in the colorways that I picked. <laughs> Clearly, I like yellow. Or I was just in a yellow mood. All right, I think that that is going to be our pattern. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put my middle bead on. Now for these like larger beads, I have a couple of shops on Etsy that I like to buy. I don't know if you would call them like statement beads, but that's kind of, <laughs> I guess that's what I would call them. Um, I feel like I just messed up the pattern. White, white. Uh, and I can leave links to those shops down below if you guys are interested. I wonder if I should do like a little metal. Nah, nah I'm just gonna keep it simple, keep it simple. I did mess it up, didn't I? Okay, hold on. Yellow, blue, white, yellow, blue, white, yellow, blue. There we go. Um, but I was saying, I do have a couple of small shops on Etsy that I like to frequent for beads, for like statement beads, I guess I would call them. Um, and I can leave a link. I said I was going to use the needle, didn't I? Oh, well. There will be other bracelets to make. I can leave links to some of those shops in the description, but for the clay beads themselves, I get those off of Amazon. Um, I've purchased a couple of like multi-packs or variety packs on Amazon. I think I got some during Amazon Prime Day last year. So you can certainly buy like a specific color um, in a larger quantity, or you can go for the um, for the variety packs. I do like the variety packs because there are colors that I would never think to buy. Like I wouldn't think that I would want a large quantity of that color. <laughs> Although now that I've been making them for a while and I've kind of, um, gone through certain colors, I would probably be more apt to purchase individual colors at this point just to kind of refill but what do we think? I think that's such a pretty colorway. I don't know. I was trying really hard to match the turtle. I think I did all right, but we'll see. Now the thing that I do trip myself up with a little bit at times is 
when I need to loop the pattern together, like once I get to the end and I'm ready to tie it, sometimes I end up messing the pattern up a little bit, but that's okay. These are just for me. I don't sell them or anything, so they don't have to be perfect. Blue. White. Yellow. Um, I do have a bead spinner, which I do use on occasion, but <laughs> I'm kind of a spaz with it. Um, if you're not familiar, it's like, there are two different versions. There's like a powered one, and then there's like a powered one, an electric one, you can plug it in. Or there is like a hand spinner, you just give it a good spin and then wait until it runs out. Um... I do like that, especially when you're trying to get like a, what's the word? When you're trying to get like a mixed pattern, if you're not trying to get, some, if you're not trying to have like a perfectly symmetrical bracelet is what I'm trying to say, which is all good in theory, but then I look at it and I'm like, that is not the pattern. <laughs> get very upset. So I do have a bead spinner. I don't use it very often. Um, I don't know. I just don't know if it's, if it's for me. I kind of like when I have a pattern and it's pretty. So that's that. <laughs> Let's keep this going. I generally make my bracelets I think I normally make them about seven and a half I think seven is the standard seven inches is the standard um but I do not like anything really tight on my wrists I don't feel like I have abnorm abnormally large wrists but I just don't like when things are tight so we have a ways to go <laughs> on this one but yeah I tend to go for Seven and a half, I feel like it gives me enough room. Um, I feel like it makes it so that the elastic isn't like stretched out over my wrist. I don't like when I can see the elastic personal preference. I hope I have enough of these colors. I did leave out the containers of colors that I use so I can easily find them if I need to, but We'll see how that goes. Um, my nieces very much enjoy doing bracelets when they come over and they both come up with very cool color patterns. I do feel like, I don't know. I, I do feel like I don't come up with the, the coolest, more, most unique color palettes, but I try to go with things that I'll actually wear, so. <laughs> Oops. I will say that this elastic actually feels pretty nice. I like to kind of give it a little bit of a tug as I'm working on it. Um, I don't know, it's kind of like a pre-stretch <laughs> so that it doesn't bust once you're trying to put it on. So every once in a while I'll kind of stretch the elastic. Sometimes when I start I'll give it a good stretch to begin with but I forgot to this time so just stretching it throughout will kind of help when it gets time to put it on. I am in full swing of summer like I'm ready for some nice weather. Uh, I'm filming this ahead of time for you guys because I am currently away when you guys are seeing this, but this week we are due for some pretty extreme weather. Um, I do live in New York and obviously we have seasons. Like it gets very hot here in the summer, but it is the last week of May, I guess. It's not technically the last week of May yet, but it's like the last full week of May, I guess I can say. Um, and that's a little early. <laughs> that's a little early for us to have such hot weather. So 
I'm not loving it, but I kind of am at the same time. So I was pulling beads for these bracelets and I was like, I want to make all the summer bracelets. So that's what I'm doing. Summer, summertime, here we come. I, <laughs> so, okay, just to give you, just like orient you guys with where I'm at in real time. Um, I'm filming this on Monday, the 20th. You guys would have seen my kitten chat today. And I mentioned in that video that I had watched or was in the process of watching Maxton, is it Maxton? Maxton Hall on Amazon Prime. I finished that on Saturday. <laughs> I watched like the last four episodes and I watched it again today at work. <laughs> I downloaded the episodes on Amazon Prime to my iPad and I watched them at work. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with the lead male character. He's way too young for me. He's like 25 or something. But I'm kind of obsessed with him. <sighs> and of course, the show ended on a cliffhanger and they have announced that there will be a season two, but we don't know when or how long we're going to have to wait. And I think I mentioned in that video that the book series is not available in English. So... I could look it up and spoil it for me, like, and know what happens, but I'd rather just read the books, but I can't. So I'm hoping that since it seems to be a hit, I have heard a lot of people talking about it, since it seems to be a hit, maybe somebody, maybe a publisher in the States will pick it up. We can only hope. Blue, white, yellow. I'm going to, I think I might do this until I run out of these colors because I don't need them for anything else except the white um, and see where we're at with sizing. Sounds like a good idea to me. Yellow, blue, blue. Okay, because then I'm going to have to try to not mess up the pattern. So let's put these ones on. Oops. I can pull more colors if I need, or more of these colors if I need to, but I think we'll be all right. I like the size of the wells um, of these palettes because it just seems to always give me the, a good amount um, without giving me like way too many, depending on the pattern, obviously, but. Even it out on this side. And then we'll see what we've got. Oh, I keep dropping the same bead. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm dropping the other one. I'm not like the biggest blue fan but these two bracelets with actually I think there's blue in every bracelet that I pulled which is interesting but I just I kind of am really digging the colors that I pulled all right so where are we here we are at just about six and a half so stretch this out a little bit all right, so if I have a blue here, <laughs> I have to talk myself through this. Um, I need a white and a double yellow, right? I actually think I can do blue, we'll do white, and then we'll do another double yellow. And that... No, wait, I need to end on a white, right? White, yellow, yellow, blue, white. No, <laughs> this is the part that I always mess up. Let me put these on 
and then I can put them next to each other and I can double check my pattern because I think I do need the yellow. Oops. Steven is outside talking to the neighbor. I can hear them outside the window. Okay. Is this correct? Blue. No. I need to end with the double yellow. I guess I was right the first time. Trust your instincts, Laura. Watch it be wrong. Pfft. Okay, let's see. No, that's right. Look at me go. We're a little under seven. Oops. But I think I can, I think I'm okay with that. Let's see. Let me wrap it around here and see where we're at. We're just off. I wonder if I should pull. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to sit this off to the side um, and I'm going to make the other bracelets and then I can just pull extra colors at the end if I need them and then we can finish them all together. So I'm gonna just do one little loopsie here and then we'll tie everything off together at the end. All right, so let's do the blue and white one that I have here. If I can find, here we go. These colors for some reason, like the white with like the deep blue, always gives me summer vibes. I don't know why, it just does. So we'll cut that off. And so this is gonna be my center, the seashell with the two pearls. And then I wanna do majority of this speckled bead. So I'm thinking that maybe I'll do like five of those in a row. Or is that six? That's six. And then two blue, a white, two blue, and then five. What do we think of that pattern? I think I kind of like it. One of my favorite things about making these bracelets is like coming up with the pattern. I don't know why, I just find it very <laughs> like soothing for some reason. Just because it's like, I can do whatever I want. It's my bracelet, who cares? I mean, hopefully you guys like it, but if you don't, that's okay too. Um, five, and then five. And let's put these on and see how we like them. So we're going to do I might just actually string these in the order that they are on here. Let's see. I know it won't be long enough, but I think it will work out. Here I am forgetting to use the needle again as well. Let's see if we like this. I'm feeling good about it. I just like these colors. The white and the blue just, I don't know why, just always scream summer to me. And I saw this particular clay bead and I was like, ooh, that's gonna be really pretty for summer. I keep picking up cat hair, no surprise. Eat blue. I hope I like the the seashell and the pearls. I'm crossing my fingers for that. I feel like when I was younger, my mom always used to put my sister and I in like white shorts with like navy blue tops. So maybe that's why. <laughs> maybe that's why I get the summer feeling. Oh, I forgot that this goes this way. Do I still like it? 
I thought it went the other way. I think I do. But now I'm like evaluating if I need, oh no, I like that. Do I? I think so. I think I like it. Let's put some beads on the other side and then I can make a final decision. But I do think I like it quite a bit actually. Let's see. I'm hoping I won't have to pull more of these beads, but we'll see. I keep saying we'll see. <laughs> I keep saying we'll see a lot and I keep going, okay, I did that so much in my kitten chat the other day and I profusely apologize if it irritated you guys as much as it did me. Sometimes I, so I don't really edit my videos. I pretty much just film in one shot. Um, sometimes I'll have to stop filming, obviously, and then I'll just put the videos together or put the clips together. But other times I will obviously have to listen back if I'm trying to insert a picture or something like that. Or if I forget, sometimes I'll say, oh, I'll link something and then I'll go to render the video and get it set up on YouTube. And I'm like, what did I say I was going to link? <laughs> so I have to go through and watch the video. Um... But sometimes I'll listen to myself and I'm like, oh my, why do people watch my channel? <laughs> why do people listen to me talk for an hour? Yikes. Thank you for doing that though. I appreciate it. <laughs> Quite a bit actually. Ooh, I like that one. Let's give it a little stretch. I think that's really pretty. What do we think? We've got a ways to go. So let's get our pattern back. So it was two blue, one white, oops, one white, and then five speckles. Five speckles. I was worried about the blue being too off, like I was you guys have no idea how much I was stressing over matching colors. And I thought the blue would be a little bit dark, but I think it works. Five, then two blue. I'm going off the mat over here, but that's okay. One white and speckles and speckles three four five okay let's put these ones on I just did okay again <laughs> and the thing is is like I don't even do that in real life conversations oh I forgot to put the blue didn't I blue white blue blue white blue checker checker speckle whatever I don't even say, okay, in real life. <laughs> it's so interesting. If you, if you film videos, I would be interested to know if you feel like you've picked up mannerisms that you don't generally do in real life in videos. <clears throat> Something that I very, I very, very rarely say like in real life. It is honestly one of my pet peeves. So it's very rare that I actually go, you know, like, blah, 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 like, blah, 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 because I hate it. No offense. No offense to anybody. But I'm 33 years old. Like, I need to be able to have an adult conversation. But at times, when I'm filming, <laughs> I feel like I say like every other freaking word. And then I'm like, I just said it. I just said it again. Because um, then in my brain... I know I can carry on a conversation without using the word like. I do it all the time at work. But it's just funny sometimes the things that you do when you're filming that you don't realize. So I need two more. Am I going to have to pull some more blue? I was hoping I wouldn't have to pull anything for this bracelet, but it looks like I might have to. Blue, white because I think I messed up the pattern. Blue, white, 
glue five speckles blue yeah I did darn it it's okay we will measure this in a second here and see where we're at blue white because I do have two more blues sitting there Where are we at here? We are short. All right, let me pause here for a second and let me grab the two colors that we need so we can finish up these two bracelets. I'll be right back. Okay, I refilled on a couple of colors. I do have some more of these speckled ones available if we need them. But let me... Where exactly am I here? Blue, okay, so speckle. And then we're still short on this one, so I'm gonna do another round here of the pattern. So we need two blue. white, two blue, speckle. Now, when I talk about the kits, um, these are what I'm talking about, like the multi-packs. Ew, I hate that I just did that tappy thing. Oh my gosh, please forgive me. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is like a big thing in the influencer world where everybody taps on everything and I am mortified that I just did that please forgive me I hate watching videos where people do that <laughs> can't believe I just did that ew Ugh. <laughs> never again Ugh. that is going to be one of those things that in five years I'm going to be sitting around minding my own business probably diamond painting or reading a book and I'm going to go, do you remember, to myself in my brain, do you remember on May 20th when you were making bracelets for your YouTube channel and you tapped the plastic container like you were some fancy, famous influencer? <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one that does that. I know I'm not. I know there are people out there that randomly think of things that have happened in their life and you like cringe that's going to be one of them for the rest of my life. <sighs> All right, let's measure and see where we're at with this one. Ooh, all right, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, let's do our pattern again. I think that that'll probably be enough, but we'll see because I'm going to have to figure out the end again. Five. I almost messed the pattern up again. Blue, blue, white, blue, blue. Five speckles. Got this. I'm realizing in the middle of filming this that I never deleted any of the other videos that I filmed, so I keep obsessively watching to make sure that it's still filming. Because <laughs> if you've ever been filming something and you're talking and you're doing your thing and then suddenly the last 20 minutes wasn't filming, there is nothing, that's a lie, there are things, but it is so rage inducing, I hate it. So two, two, wait. Two blue and five speckles. <laughs> All right, let's see. 
perfect. This is going to be perfect. Okay, so for the ending, I need to do blue, blue, white, blue. Blue, blue, white, blue, blue. That should be correct. Blue, blue, white. Blue, blue. Right? I think so. Let's see where we're at here. Look at that. We are perfect. We are just at seven, which is good enough for me. So let's tie this one together. I think I'm going to try to do this flat. I don't know. Okay. So I have the two pieces here. I'm going to cross the one in my left hand over the top. And I'm going to twist it around once, twist it around twice, twist it around a third time, maybe. So it looks like this. And then I'm going to pull. And I'm going to tie a regular knot. And then I'm going to do the same thing from the other direction. So I'm going to take my right hand and cross it over the top. I'm going to go over once, over twice, over a third time. So again, it looks like that. We're going to pull. Oh, no. I pulled too hard. <laughs> Shoot. All right. Well, that sucks. Dang it. I must not have pre-stretched this enough. <sighs> That's fine. I will make this one off <laughs> screen again and show it to you guys at the end. Dang it. That is so annoying. It's okay. Let's finish the other um, the other bracelet. We were able to save, hey, that's like half that we were able to save. So let's just scooch these over here. Don't make fun of me in the comments. I could be crying, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's fix this one and I will show you guys again how I tie. I will say this is the first time that I'm using this particular, um, this particular elastic so it's probably user error versus anything else but let me go ahead and get this to the right length which means I need to match this pattern here again so white yellow yellow I'm so excited about that blue one I'm so bummed I just broke that but that's okay and then we're gonna do two blue And I'm gonna do one more round, I think. So one white, two yellow, and two blue. And we'll see where that takes us. That seems pretty good. You know what, I might do one more. Because this middle bead is kind of bulky, um, I want to make sure that I leave myself enough room so that it's comfortable and not too tight. So I'm going to do one more, um, one more set of the pattern. So one white, two yellow, and two blue. And we'll see where that gets us. One more. Let's do one more. Because as you guys can see, I do wear my Apple Watch a lot. And I like to put my bracelet above my Apple Watch. So I do want it to be comfortable. I think that should be good. Okay, let's give it a pre-stretch here. <laughs> And let's try to not break this one. So 
left hand is going, going to go over one, two, three, and then we're going to pull. And then we're going to do a regular knot. Now this is just how I do mine. You could do them however you prefer. So we have a regular knot. And eventually you'll be able to hide this particular knot. Maybe I should just do one round. Maybe it was the, but I like doing, okay, let's do it. If it breaks, it breaks. It's all right. One, two, and three. Okay. I think we're in better shape with this one. <laughs> Let's try this one on and see. Ooh, that is really cute. See, I have plenty of room, which I like. I will eventually hide this knot. Um, I often like to hide it under the biggest bead. So you could definitely like move things around or bead it in whatever order you prefer. Um, but I will eventually hide this little knot. But there's our first one which is really cute. It's a good size too. I quite like that. I will trim the bottom at a different time. And again, I will take care of <laughs> this little mess up here in a bit because I really want to get on to the next bracelet. I think I want to try this one next. Now, this is the one that I was thinking of doing a set of two. Um... I need to just pull up. Okay. So I've never used a connect a bead connector before in a bracelet like this. I generally use these when I make beaded bookmarks, which if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing on a cozy crafty Sunday, definitely let me know. Um, I need to readjust. Ah, better. Okay. <laughs> I was starting to like slide forward on my chair. Um, if you would like to see how I make my beaded bookmarks in a future Cozy Crafty Sunday, definitely let me know. Um, but for now, let's see if I can make this work like it works in my brain. Again, I just have a really large piece. This is the Paxku elastic. This one just feels a lot nicer than the other elastic. Uh, and I think this one is pre-stretched. So I've never had an issue with this one breaking when I am trying to tie it, uh, which is why it is probably my favorite. Um, okay, so I'm thinking that I'm going to go in, under, and then in this side. I think that that will work. What do we think? And then, what I would like to do is, hmm, I think I'm going to do, I love this color bead, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll have to see how this works. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and then a silver, and then orange maybe? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry that you guys are listening to me count. And then I'm thinking yellow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then a silver divider. And then. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I might have to pause here and plug my phone in. I just got a little battery. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why did I think I had more battery percentage? I'm going to have to go grab a battery pack, I think. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then silver. And then see where we're at. Okay, let me pause here. I might string this one up so I can save you guys a little bit of time. Um, I think I might charge my phone for a few and then we'll we'll meet back here and see where we're at. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I had to let my phone charge. So I did do a little bit of work on the bracelets that we had already made. So I finished this one off with the knot. I redid <laughs> the blue and white one. And I completed the set that we were working on when my phone was about to die. So this is the matching set. Although I will say the seashell keeps rolling, but once you get it on your wrist, it stays where it's supposed to. So we have that one. I did a little bit of a different type of pattern. Um, so you can see here we did 10 of each color and then I did 10 just in a pattern on the back because it would have been too big if I did another run of that. I think that looks cute though. And then I did make a coordinating, um, a coordinating one of just the same colors, just in random patterns. And I think the set is very cute. So I finished that one, but we do have one more to make. So I'm hoping I can make a set out of this, um, colorway as well. I did replace, I had pulled kind of like an off white and I ended up having some extra white. And I know I have some more white in, um, a couple of these containers here if I need it, but I think I wanted, I think this color, the off white was a little too close to the like pale yellow. So I decided to switch that out for white, but I'm hoping I can make another set. I'm thinking something similar to this one. So like a pattern and then like a random one. I do often wear more than one bracelet. So I like the idea of having um, a set. And I think I love that one. I think the color turned out really, really pretty. Um, again, I will try all these on at the end once we have everything made, but let's go ahead and work with this colorway. So I'm going to use the, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite elastic here. Um, I'm just pre-stretching this a little bit and you'll be happy to know that I did not break any of the other ones as I was tying them. So <laughs> the blue one was a one-off. All right, so I'm going to start first with the sea turtle one. I'm not quite sure what I want to do color-wise. I'm kind of tempted to do... Hmm. I started the other one off with white. The other, the blue sea turtle. Do I want to do white? Oh, I did pull silver. I forgot I pulled silver for this one. So I could start with silver to kind of mix it up, but also I kind of don't want to. Actually, maybe I do want to. Let's do silver. Do I want to go for five again? Is that what I did last time though? I try really hard to like do variations. Maybe I'll do six. And then silver. And then I'll do six again. Silver. 
four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Silver. Oops. And then I'm kind of tempted to do, I mean, I have plenty of white, but I, I don't know that I want this to be like white heavy. So I might do three and then start the pattern of six again. What do we think of that? I know my OCD friends are going to be like, we don't like it. <laughs> and my brain is saying the same thing, but we're trying to be a little less particular here. Four, five, six. I think I'm going to like that. Two, four, six. Okay. Well, let me get this stuff strung up here. I'm falling out of my chair. <laughs> All right. We need to decide if we like the silver. You know what? I do have... I have little silver balls. I just don't know if I'll have enough. Two, four, six, seven... I think my younger niece used a lot of these. Uh, could do squares. I'm trying to do better with like variations, but do I actually like that or am I just trying to convince myself that I like it? I don't think so. Let's just stick with what we've got going. Why mess with it now? Okay, let's string this. I think the... I think the round will be fine. See, I like mixing these ones with the clay beads because they're the same size and I just think that they look nice. But maybe I'm making that up. <laughs> this bead like pretty much perfectly matches my nail polish today. I redid my, well, I didn't redo them because they were awful and they were, you know, I specifically did my nails for this video because I knew you guys were going to be seeing them and I have been wanting to do this particular set of nails for quite a while so it works out or it worked out I should say. I was also <laughs> obsessing over the color match with this particular coral bead and the sea turtle, I think it's pretty good. I am somebody who definitely picks up on like when things are a shade or too different. I do not like that. Oops, sorry. I'm stringing this off camera because I'm trying to sit lazily, like slouchy. So sit up straight, Laura, and then everything will be in frame. colors together. That's pretty. I feel like this sea foam is kind of throwing a little bit of a curveball, but I think it I think it works. I like it. I need to try and so I have you guys know I love otters. I have some dangly otter charms, but I haven't been able to find any like otter beads. I need to find like actual beads, not charms, because I have two or three varieties um whoops but I, I definitely need to find like a bead like this 
of an otter. So if you guys find one, if you're into beads and you're often looking at bead websites, let me know if you find one. I feel like I need to make this six. I tried, I tried you guys, I really did. Tried to mix it up, but when every other color is six, I don't think I can have the white be three. <laughs> I can't do it. Much better, and that just makes me feel better. Cause you know what? I would be wearing this bracelet and I would be like, this is really nice. I love it. Except remember when I did just three white beads instead of six? I'm crazy, but it's okay. I shouldn't say I'm crazy, I take it back. Because I know that there are a lot of people out there that are similar, so. Okay, I'm gonna do, repeat the rest of this pattern on this side and then we'll string the right side. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I did, I was smart. I used the needle to um, redo our blue bracelet. Instead of having to restring everything, I took off the stuff that was still on the string with the needle and then I could just string it right back on, which was very nice. Six. And a silver, and then six white. Five, four, five, six. Okay. I really need to fold laundry, but I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Which is kind of the story of my life. I get into a craft or something, and I'm like, Laundry can wait till tomorrow, but it really can't wait until tomorrow. I really need to go fold it. Laundry, I think I've talked about this before. Laundry is 100% my least favorite adult chore. Well, it's not really an adult chore because I did it when I was younger, but just in general, when we're adulting, laundry, the worst. I hate it but it's gotten to the point where like I have to run down and grab like a pair of underwear or something. And that's when I'm like, okay, it's just time to fold the laundry at this point, Laura. <laughs> okay, let's string the other side. And I think we're gonna be pretty good on length once we get this side completed. <laughs> Am I in frame? Probably not. Oops. <laughs> I love that the yellow matches my nails like perfectly. Makes me very happy. I think that means I have to wear this bracelet set tomorrow. <laughs> Three, four. That's a thin one. <laughs> Blue. Look at how pretty that color was. I really like this. I really liked the bright colors as well, the ones that I did on the last set. This one is kind of speaking to me though. I really like it. I think maybe because it's still like kind of technically spring, I'm liking the pastels, but I think that those bright ones, this set here, I think this summer, once I have a little bit of a tan, I think those will look really nice. 
five, six. We had a runaway. All right, I want to measure this. Okay, we're good. I need to pay attention to the pattern here because we're getting close-ish to the length that I want. Four, five, six. I just hope it's not going to be too long because I need to get to... Okay, let's, let me think about this for a second. So if this is ending on white, we'll put a silver because it's going to end on silver. So I need to get to green on this side. So I need to do six of the yellow. It was kind of... So I did that second bracelet for the last set where it's not a pattern, it's just random, which was kind of nice, but also not. I think I might do the same thing for this second bracelet. I think it will make a good set. So pink, so I need to do blue and green. So six blue, a silver, and then six green. Because the silver is already over on the other side. Two, four, six. I'm going to finish this bracelet and then I'm going to go check in with Steven um, because it is, ooh, it's almost six o'clock. So I need to figure out what we're doing for dinner. He thought we were going to do one thing and I had told him that it would take too long. And I think that we just got mixed up in communication. So I'm going to go check in with him. Okay, so this one is going to be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I quite like that. So... Oh no, this is wrong. White. What did I do wrong here? Yellow, coral, blue. Green, white, yellow, coral, blue. Green, white. Oh, hold on. Okay, so really this needs to end here with yellow. That's going to be too, way too long. Where am I when I'm here? Let's see. You guys just live here for a second. Hmm. Okay. Green. So it needs to end with yellow? I'm so bad at patterns, guys. And you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. <laughs> so realistically, it needs to end here. It needs to end on yellow. But no, that's wrong too. Yellow, coral, blue, green, white, yellow, coral. Blue, green, hmm, why isn't this making sense to me right now? Okay, well, let me take a second, let me go touch base with Steven and figure this out and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> we had dinner, I decided to end this bracelet on a double white. I think it looks fine, because anything else would have made it too big uh so i think that that is nice so we have one more bracelet to make we're going to make the set the matching second piece for this one um this one i'm going to try to be very uh organic with for lack of a better term 
Um, I'm gonna need some more of these silver beads here and I might need some more white, but I think we'll be okay with the other colors. And I'm going to do something very reminiscent with this one. Um, although instead of doing 10, I'm gonna do six because that's what I did here. So I'm just gonna start um, and I'm going to do a mixture of colors. I'm not gonna do any pattern. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna let it kind of be. Um, and I think that, I think that'll be okay. So I'm going to do a six and then a silver, and then we'll do another six, two, three, I can definitely tell that I'm like, I'm just about done for the night. <laughs> Four, five. Like I mentioned, it was extremely hot here today and it just is going to be extremely hot for the rest of this week. And I'm feeling it. My body is like, oh right, summer. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> so I'm feeling a little tired, but we're gonna push through because I want to finish these bracelets. And then I might try to get Steven to come in and tell us which one is his favorite. We'll see. He was asleep on the couch when I went out to check on him uh, so we could work on dinner. <laughs> he was asleep, so. He um, works outside more, a lot more than I do. So, four. Five, six, one, two, oops, three, four. Sorry if uh, listening to me count is not entertaining. I'm curious to see how many. Oh, well, it would be different because I used more. Oh, look at this color palette, though. I really like it. I feel like I did pretty good picking that one out. Okay. Focus, Laura. Focus. One. Two, three. Four. Five. Six. This is an extra. Uh, I'm trying, so I'm trying not to have a pattern, but I'm also trying not to start um, for have the, I'm trying not to have a pattern, but I also don't want the patterns to be the same. So I guess it technically is a pattern then. Four. <laughs> Five, six will be green. And then a silver. Maybe we'll do double white on this one. Two, three, four. six plus a silver. Let's check. Got a ways to go. Um, we'll do one, two, oops, oops, three, four, Five, six. In the future, when I do these Cozy Crafty Sundays, please let me know if you would prefer me to 
fast forward or like not fast forward speed up I've done that in like one other video my I have very basic editing software because I'm lazy <laughs> which is fine um but I can do it through YouTube I think so if you would prefer me to like speed this type of stuff up just let me know and I will attempt to make that happen. Um, I know some people don't really like dead air, but other people don't like stuff sped up. So I try to please the masses. Um, and I will see what I can do. Four, five, six. I'm thinking, like, I'm doing this and then I'm like, oh, then I'm gonna have to put all these beads away. To be honest, that might be a tomorrow project because I kind of don't want to do it. One. Two, three, four, whoops, five, six. Almost done. Almost. Let's measure. We're getting there. I think what I'll do is I'll finish the rest of this bracelet off camera and I will come back and um, I'll show you guys how I tie them one more time because I think I've tied most of these off camera. So I will tie this one with you guys and then we'll take a look at everything that we made. Okay, so I have this one all strung up. We are just over seven, which is fine. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a stretch. So hopefully we don't have a repeat. <laughs> um, I did have to grab some more white beads, but I had enough of everything else. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna do a regular knot on, with this particular um, elastic so I'm going to do a regular knot and then I'm going to do the other type of knot so we have our two little tails we're going to cross the left over the right and then we're going to do go under three times so one two three and we're going to pull that tight and then I'm gonna go the other way. So right over left, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna do a regular knot. Now, this might be a little excessive. <laughs> I'm not a professional bracelet maker. This is just what I have found works for me. I'm going to open it and make sure that the knot is nice and tight. And then I will cut off the tails. Like so. And we have our matching set. So let's take a look at everything that we made today. So here is our first sea turtle bracelet. I like the color palette on this one, the yellow and the blue. Of course, I like the little sea turtle. Please don't look at my hairy arms. <laughs> so here is the first one that we made. Then we have the one that I broke, but I remade off screen. Uh, this is the seashell one. And we have the patterned clay beads with the blue and the white. And then we have the pearl seashell and then the two pearls on the side. I think that one is really pretty. 
And then we have the bright one that we made. So we have the seashell, which I think looks really cute, although it does keep turning. Um, so I probably didn't do the thread the best way. I just threaded it underneath. I probably should have like looped it on the sides. I don't know. And then here is the coordinating one. I think that these look really cute together. I really like the colors on those ones. I think these will be really fun in the summer, especially when I have a little bit of a tan. And then we have the set that I just made. I think this one, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which one's my favorite. I honestly, I like them all for different reasons, but here is the coral sea turtle with the little companion companion piece. Let me know what your guys' favorite is down below. I'm going to go try to grab Steven and see if he will give us a rating on our work. I have acquired a Steven. Here he comes. Are you going to make a grand entrance? <laughs> You're leaving a lot of dead air here. Dead air here. You're taking your time. I'm filming. Uh -oh. <laughs> that was my grand oh, okay. You have to tell me which is my favorite, your favorite bracelet. Okay, I'll try them on for you. So we have. What if I wanted to try them? You can try them on. No, that's okay. We have this one with the blue turtle. Okay. And the yellow. We have this one. You didn't do the gold. Huh? The no, I didn't do the gold. I, I wanted the gold. Really? Yeah, I sent the gold. Oh. I'm sorry. I'll have to make another one with gold. Sorry. We have this one, the seashell. I'll let it slide. Seashell with blue. I like that one. I knew you would. And then I have two sets. So they're like companion coordinating. We have this one with the seashell. The bright colors. Okay. Okay. Um, and then my mind's already the blue one. one. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have this one with the the light colors. It's pretty. This one's your favorite. That one's my favorite. Yes. <laughs> I broke this one while I was making it. The, I broke it on one. camera. It was so embarrassing. You broke it? <laughs> yeah. I was tying the knot and I snapped the <laughs> elastic and I had to make it again. <laughs> so you better like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. This one would be cool. Yeah. If you had the gold on it. I didn't know if the gold would go with the yellow. Look at the yellow matches my nails like perfectly. Yeah. They're pretty nails. Thanks. So this is your favorite. I think this might be my favorite, but I really like this one too. This one is like summer. Those kind of hit me as your colors. Which one? The right. This one? Yeah. Yeah. I like the yellow and the coral. Okay. Thank you. I think you should make a green one. I'm not going to make a, I'm not going to make one today. I've made emerald this six one. bracelets. Yeah, I can make an emerald one. Is it my bracelet? Yeah. Are you an emerald? Yeah, I think you are. I think so. Yeah. My little, yeah. my little Taurus. Tortoise? Tortoise. Oh, Taurus. Yeah, the bull. Oh, I was going to say tortoise. <laughs> I mean, that kind of fits too. <laughs> I'm very slow today, so yes. It's really hot out. I, I said it and was really hot for us out. northerners, <laughs> it's like it might as well be 120 degrees. Well, the first hot day of the year is always yes. a killer. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm going to end the Bye, video everybody. now. I'm going to close the door. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. We didn't. We didn't bring in Luna to see what she liked. No, we didn't. But she's been in all the videos this week. She's kind of vegetable. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Bye. bye. <laughs> okay, so Stephen has spoken. Let me know what which one is your favorite in the comments down below. I will leave links um, to whatever I can find on Amazon. I might actually make a clay bead like category where I can put like the tools that I use and like the mat and the board, um, the different elastics that I like. I'll put the ceramic paint palettes. Um, if there's anything that I forget that you guys are curious of where or like what the link is, just let me know and I can always add it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Cozy Crafty Sunday. I have been planning the rest of the years 
cozy crafty Sundays um I was on Amazon and I just put in like fun crafts and I found a, a fair amount of really cute looking sets so we are in it for the rest of the year. I hope you guys still are enjoying this series. Definitely let me know if you're not and I will stop filming them, but uh, I enjoy doing these videos with you guys. So again, make sure you let me know which bracelet set or singular bracelet was your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, I had announced previously that I would not have a video on Monday. Um, but due to some scheduling changes, I do. So there will be a video up for you guys tomorrow and then I will be home from our extended weekend and we will be back to business on Wednesday. Fingers crossed. So again, thank you guys so much for watching today's longer video. I hope you all did enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.